Hi, I'm Mandeep Singh, founder of Mandeeps.com, and in this video we will be installing our portal theme on a default installation of DNN8. So let's get started. One of the first things you would want to do is to download the portal uh, theme files from DNN Store after you've made a purchase, and uh, you will have a file like this one. Be sure to extract or unzip this file and I'm going to go ahead and do that right now and once we do that inside we will see two folders an install folder and templates folder if we look in the install folder we will see that there is the portal theme in the skin folder and then there is a life slider module that's included with the theme along with the common library which is required uh, for portal so there's two different ways we can go ahead and install these we can certainly uh, install these traditional way using host extension and upload each extension or we can simply uh, move all these extensions uh, through FTP so we will cover both of these methods if you're using FTP all you really have to do is open up your site and FTP client and once you have your site up like this one simply copy uh, the install folder to the root of your site and that will upload all the extensions for you so the next step is very simple. You would browse your site and log in as a super user, which is host by default, and you will navigate to host extensions. And once you're here, you can you're gonna go ahead and click on available extensions. And here you will see under modules that live slider and common library not appear, and under themes you will see portal appears. So this these three components are here because we move them through FTP. Now at this point you can simply hit install and they will get installed. Uh, the only requirement here is make sure you install the common library before you install portal otherwise the installation here will throw an error saying that common library is required. So that's it for this method. The other method is the more traditional one where you would simply again go to host extensions, uh, go to install extension wizard and then choose a file. So in, in my case we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and navigate here to the install folder and I'm going to first install the common library. I'm going to hit next, uh, read through the licensing agreement and hit next. And basically make sure at the very bottom it says installation is successful. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat this process two more times. One for the uh, live slider module and then finally for the portal theme. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this now for um, Life Slider module. Same step. We'll go ahead and accept through the licensing agreement and hit next. Again, we want to make sure that the installation was successful, which we can confirm here. And uh, we're done here as well. The last one we want to do is the portal theme itself. So we'll go ahead and uh, install the portal theme as soon as the site compiles again and spins back up it should be a moment here there we go so I'm gonna again repeat that process and this time I'm gonna go to the skin folder and choose the portal uh, package and install that and once again we want to scroll down to the very bottom to make sure the installation is successful that's it we have uh, our portal theme installed along with the life slider module uh, so we're all set and good to go next we're going to go ahead and apply the portal theme and we can easily do that from admin themes we'll see that we have a new option here called portal and now i can easily apply the inner theme to the entire portal using this apply button but instead what i'm going to do is also show you uh, how we can apply the portal theme to a specific page you can definitely go to the edit page and from page appearance uh, we're gonna find the page theme which is for this specific page and I'm gonna go ahead and choose portal home I also use a uh, portal container let's select the uh, h4 and I'm gonna go ahead and update the page now if you have pop-ups enabled on your site you will see the portal 3 license manager message right here saying to select an addition and either activate or continue with trial now if you don't have port pop-ups enabled you will see uh, your entire site uh, change switches to this so we can go ahead um, and select the addition you purchased standard or enterprise and then simply 
uh, either activate the product or continue the trial. Now, if you continue the trial, what you can see is the activate skin uh, option on the bottom right. This only appears if you're logged in as a super user. Uh, you can go ahead and click on that whenever you're ready to activate. Uh, the product will remain in, in a trial mode for uh, 14 days without activation. Assuming you've already purchased a license, you can jump straight to step two, where you simply type in your email address. Now, this is the same email address uh, that you have on DNN Store. Go ahead and click Request Activation Key. Okay, and it says your activation key has been emailed to you. So you're going to go ahead and uh, wait for your activation key to arrive in your uh, email, and then simply copy and paste it here. Okay, I've copied my key, and I'm going to go ahead and paste it here and hit apply activation key and it says your license has been activated so there we go we have Poto installed and activated go ahead uh, and check out the next video where we will be importing a portal template to set up a demo site in minutes uh, as always if you have any questions or concerns feel free to open a support ticket on our site and we'll be happy to assist thank you so much for watching the video